it was brought to my attention that Chris Paul's career was waning as he got older. When CP3 leaves, who becomes the new point guard? Tyrese Halliburton is the simple solution to it, of course. John may be deserving of that, according to some, but in my opinion, he is more like Allen Iverson than CP3. A point guard, in my opinion, is someone with handles who sets up their teammates for simple baskets. And Halliburton is that. For the Indiana Pacers, Tyrese Halliburton is having a fantastic season thus far. Many of the league and fans are still perplexed as to why the Sacramento Kings would part with Halliburton, who seemed poised to become a cornerstone of the team. Halliburton has become somewhat of a revelation since moving to Indiana, electrifying the fan support and infusing life into the stale Pacers team. One could argue that Halliburton isn't getting the national exposure deserved. Yes, he represents a team from a little town that occasionally plays below average basketball. Halliburton, however, is frequently the only player keeping the Pacers in games when other players are having bad shooting nights. So let's check out the league standings to see how Halliburton has performed thus far this season. First in the NBA in terms of overall assists, assists per game, and assist percentage. He is an absolute double-double machine. Halliburton is without a doubt one of the game's best offensive threats. He is leading the league in every important assist metric, which is one of the strongest indicators of success for a point guard, and he is demonstrating the ability to make long shots. While Tyrese may undoubtedly improve at times in terms of his defensive play, he currently ranks among the top 10 stealers in the NBA in terms of total steals, steals per game, and steal percentage. An excellent point guard is known for their ability to steal the ball, just like they are known for their offensive assists, and Halliburton is demonstrating that they can do it when necessary. The fact that Halliburton is a frontrunner in so many league rankings this season is evidence of his success. This demonstrates why the Eastern Conference should start him at point guard. If the votes occur, only time will tell. In the grand scheme of things, he is 22 years old and has already demonstrated promise in his first three seasons in the league. It is unsettling to consider that Halliburton still has time to improve. He might develop into the league's next best point guard. Please post your comments in the space below. Are you in favor of Halliburton becoming the next point guard?